Hi, I'm Jeremy Hopp. And I'm Brad Pritchett. You, you get it. Get on my level. Sorry. We are the co-chairs of Black Tie Dinner, the nation's largest LGBTQ fundraiser of its kind. And this afternoon, we are making history by coming to you for our first ever Telefies Giveathon. Stick with us for the next hour for moments of triumph, joy, and inspiration as we raise funds and awareness for the LGBTQ community of North Texas. Presented by BBVA and brought to you by WFAA. Welcome to Black Tie Live. Hello, North Texas. I'm actress, singer, composer Vicki Martinez from Orange is the New Black and NBC's The Voice. And I'm actress, singer, songwriter, comedian Emily Tarver, also from Orange is the New Black. And we're both really excited to welcome you all to a first of its kind event, Black Tie Live, hosted by Black Tie Dinner and presented by BBVA. Due to COVID-19 this year, we are reaching out to you live in a different format reaching even more people with our message of hope and equality. This afternoon, you are in store for a different and exciting program from the comfort of your own home. Today, we'll do our best to keep you engaged, entertained, and inspired as Black Tide Live steps up to again support a wide range of worthy LGBTQ nonprofits throughout North Texas. And the Human Rights Campaign Foundation. As a couple, one of the things that brings us closer together is our passion for giving back. Volunteering our time and money. Also give your money. <laughs> to organizations and events like this that fight for equality. Thank you so much for allowing us to join you for Black Tie Live. Now, let's raise some big bucks, big old bucks, for Black Tie Dinner's amazing beneficiaries. Jeremy and Brad, back to you. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for what promises to be an educational and uplifting program from the Slate here in the beautiful design district of Dallas, Texas. Thank you to our socially distanced studio audience for joining us and again to you for turning on and tuning in wherever it is you're watching us today. Now you're seeing us in action, but we want to see all of you too. Through the magic of technology, we'll be showing shots of you all throughout today's show as you watch us. Grab your phones right now, take a quick selfie of you, your small gathering, your pets, whatever the case, strike your fiercest pose and use hashtag, hashtag Black Tie Live and keep those phones out because throughout our entire show, you'll have the opportunity to give simply by texting the code you see on the bottom of your screen thanks to AT&T. We'll be showing your beautiful faces throughout the entire program. Now. We want to show the world how supportive this community is and how fabulous you all look. Now, Black Tie Dinner is a nonprofit organization that raises funds for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer supportive organizations serving North Texas through a premier event of empowerment, education, and entertainment in partnership with the community. Now, in a normal year, our premier event is a fabulous dinner with 3,000 of our closest friends and supporters. But this year, due to COVID-19, we had to change our plans to bring you today's program. Now, when we discussed how we were going to deal with the challenges of 2020, we made the firm commitment to remain resilient and to still raise as much money as possible for our amazing beneficiaries. And we are excited that this opportunity brings in this platform, allowing people from all over North Texas and the world to hear about Black Tie Dinner and Black Tie Dinner beneficiaries. And stay tuned, you'll hear more about our 2020 beneficiaries later in the program. Now, just as in a normal year, we plan to bring you all the trappings of a black tie dinner, just in a different format. You'll hear inspirational messages, celebrity performances, and much, much more. But before we go too much further, let's look at how we got to where we are today in a video generously underwritten by TPG. Over its nearly 40 year history, Black Tie Dinner has pioneered LGBTQ fundraising. The annual star-studded gala attracts thousands of supporters from across the country. And while in recent years a black tie fundraiser has been the social norm, this was hardly the case when black tie dinner first began. The first dinner was held at the Fairmont Hotel in the ballroom. And I think it came as a shock to all of us to see each other dressed up in tuxedos and the women dressed in fine evening gowns. It was just something we were not used to. 
and it, it was a fantastic experience, unforgettable. In the beginning, we had no idea that it would grow into what it is today. So we were just going to do this dinner one time maybe, you know, we would see how it went. The tickets started flying out the door and the money started rolling in. It was always a surprise. The, the, the needle kept on going up and more and more money was coming through every year. From its origins as a small fundraising dinner, it quickly grew in scope and size, becoming a powerhouse event that has distributed over $25 million to its local and national beneficiaries with a mission to educate, empower, and entertain. Since the beginning, our guiding light has always been our beneficiaries. From health and advocacy work to arts and other community organizations, we have been able to support so many critical groups. If you look at how our beneficiaries have evolved over time, you are able to see how the North Texas community has stood up to the challenge of the moment. From HIV and AIDS to marriage equality to more recently fighting for the rights of the transgender community and people of color, the North Texas community stands up in big ways with bold funds for these critical organizations. Our board is quite unique in that we are completely volunteer-led. We have about 25 board members at any given time per year. And then our advisory board is made up of individuals who served a minimum of four years. We're all dedicated to bringing our time and our talents to the board. Serving on this board is a true labor of love. Um, most people find it astounding that we literally, there's a staggering number of hours that we put in every year and we've estimated it to be between 20 and 25,000 hours a year to produce this dinner. A uh, true labor of love and rarely do you find anyone complain about it because we're all here together to make this happen. In addition to raising funds for the organization's beneficiaries, each year it also honors local and national leaders and advocates that have made a lasting impact on the LGBTQ movement. Over the years, Black Tie Dinner has welcomed actors, entertainers, business leaders, and community advocates to share their stories and messages of hope. If you can change Dallas, you can change Texas. And if you change Texas, I guarantee you, you will change this great nation. Thanks to the support of thousands of volunteers, sponsors, and donors, Black Tie Dinner has improved the lives of countless individuals in North Texas and beyond. With your continued support, we look forward to continuing the momentum for another 40 years to come. We've come a long way in our 39 years, but our work is not done. 2020 has been an unpredictable and unnerving year for everyone. Far too many lives have been lost as we battle COVID-19 and natural disasters, while simultaneously mourning the wrongful deaths brought by racial and social injustice. While we've come so far as a nation and the struggle for true equality, challenges still exist. This past year, the conscience of the country stirred and the world joined the fight in the support of Black Lives Matter. Every person deserves the right to live safely as themselves. Regardless of the color of your skin, your gender, and who or how you love, we all demand to live in a world without fear. Simply by watching this program and supporting Black Tie Dinner's beneficiaries, you are helping to amplify a message of equality at a time when America needs it most. You can support our beneficiaries during today's program by participating in our auction, generously underwritten by Celebrity Cruises, by visiting blacktie.org. There you can bid on items like a virtual wine tasting from our friends at Bouillon or freshen up your home office with new artwork. For only $100, you can purchase your chance to win an amazing Mercedes-Benz donated by our friends at Park Place Motor Cars. You can purchase a raffle ticket by visiting blacktie.org. Now, you must live in the North Texas area to purchase a raffle ticket online. Raffle tickets will close at 440, and one of your names will be drawn live at the end of this program. Now, finally, you can text BTD to 243-725 to make a tax-deductible monetary donation. Our text-to-give campaign has been generously underwritten by our friends at AT&T. This platform allows you to donate any amount that you can, whether you only have $5 or you can give $5,000. Our beneficiaries need your support. These donations make a meaningful impact on our North Texas community. For example, your donation of $25 will provide five bus passes for legacy counseling clients to attend a job interview. 
Your generous donation of $100 will fund the cost of three months of transportation to medical appointments with AIDS Outreach Center. And our Black Tie Dinner Board of Directors are standing by to process your raffle tickets or to take your text to give donation. And we've given them permission to interrupt us here on set once they see those big donations coming in. Now today could not be made possible without the generous support of our leader sponsors. Leader sponsors, Elcon, Allstate, AT&T, Brinker International, Capital One, David W. Carlson and Steve Smith, Selenese Corporation, Central Market, Charles Schwab, Comerica, Morgan W. Cox III and Derail Hill, Dallas Anti-Aging and Wellness, Fidelity Investments, Friends of North Haven, Lexus, Lock Lord, Lockheed Martin, Bob Mosser and Bob Calderon, Nordstrom, Santander Consumer USA, Samsung, Tito's, TPG, The Welch Family, Wells Fargo. Thank you for all of your support. And now we're thrilled to bring you the first performance of the afternoon brought to you by our friends at Allstate. You've danced around to her songs before. She has been cranking out pop anthems with a much needed dose of fiery female empowerment. We're excited to introduce Ava Max. If all of the kings had their queens on the throne, we would pop champagne and raise a toast to all of the queens who are fighting alone. Baby, you're not dancing on your own. Can't live without me. You wanna, but you can't. Think it's funny, but honey can run this show on your own. I can feel my body shake. There's only so much I can take. I'll show you how a real queen behaves. No damsel in distress, no need to save me. When Sasa breathes on fire, you can save me. And you might think I'm weak without a sword. But if I had one, it'd be bigger than yours. If all of the It's off with your head Gonna change it and make it A world you won't forget No damsel in distress Don't need to save me Once I stop breathing the fire You can't save me And you might think I'm weak Without a sword But I'm stronger than I ever was before If all of the kings Had their queens on the throne We would pop champagne And raise a toast to all the queens who are fighting alone Baby, you're not dancing on your own oh, 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 oh. In chess, a king can move on space at a time Thank you, Ava. Presented each year, the Kukling Humanitarian Award is given to individuals who have made extraordinary gifts of their time and talents on behalf of the LGBTQ community. The award is named in honor of the late Raymond Kukling, a leading activist in Dallas's LGBTQ community in the 1980s. This year's deserving recipient story is full of heart and hope. Let's take a look at Bruce Monroe's journey brought to you by previous Kukling recipient, Kay Wilkinson and Caliber Home Loans. Bruce's personality is magnetic. His sense of humor is a constant. 
Bruce has saved lives. He saved his untold lives. He's just very selfless. I met Bruce uh, in the early 80s when both of us were new to KERA. I moved back to Dallas in 1985. I was volunteering for the Dallas Gay Alliance and I was on their membership committee and Bruce was one of my, the volunteers on my committee. So that's where I first met him. We started collecting data on um, hate crimes against gay people. And so then we sent that off to the legislature. And that, and that piece of evidence was actually instrumental in getting the uh, Texas hate crimes bill passed. When I first met Bruce, it would have been about the mid-90s when he was um, tapped to be the new president of the Dallas Gay Alliance. So many of the organizations we have now in Dallas were started right there in that little little building on you know on Reagan Street and Bruce was instrumental in making that happen. He was so dedicated and passionate about the local gay community and the issues of the gay community. He's very respectful of all people. He's always been a very inclusive person. He's always believed in diversity and I think his leadership in the gay community was essential especially during the time of AIDS. Bruce was just a real advocate, and he wasn't afraid to get out there and, and challenge people and get in their face. I think it couldn't go to a better person. I'm really so very proud of you. He has devoted his entire life to making the world a better place for gay people. I think it's absolutely something you have deserved, something that uh, they are recognizing your work over, over the decades that you were a leader in the community. Your work has paid off, it's done a lot of good, and you deserve this. In the back of my mind, I always knew you deserved it more than I did. And I congratulate you for that, you deserve it. I would just say I love you, Bruce. Love you, and I'm glad you're part of my life. Good afternoon. What you're about to hear are not my words, nor the words of the next few speakers you will see although all of us are old friends of Bruce Monroe. For a number of years now, Bruce has been challenged by a rare neurological disorder, which although keeping his brilliant mind intact, has seriously compromised his ability to control muscle movement and speech. The words that we will be reading to you were painstakingly typed by Bruce on his cell phone, one letter, one word, one sentence at a time. But they are Bruce's words. It was an arduous task for him, but one he relished doing. We are all so happy to express with our voices Bruce's gratitude for having received this great honor. It begins, I'm speechless and stunned. I want to thank the Black Tie Dinner Board for this heartwarming honor and to thank all those who made it possible. I stand, or rather sit, here, humble when I think of all those who have received this award before me. I stand on the shoulders of giants, such as Bill Nelson, John Thomas, and William Wayburn, all of whom shaped and encouraged me. And now more than ever, propped up by my best friends, Ron Allen and John Rogers, who are literally carrying me through this difficult time. Also, I would like to give a special shout out to all of those who make my life brighter through your visits. The truth be told, I was tricked into a life of activism when I thought I was going on a dinner date. But instead, I was taken to a general membership meeting of the Dallas Gay Alliance, now the Dallas Gay and Lesbian Alliance. Afterward, I went to dinner in the Bronx's back room where many of the heavy hitters of the DGA Board of Directors dined. I got religion immediately and signed up to volunteer and walked out of that dinner with committee assignments and friends for life. Sadly, many are now gone, but that meeting and dinner was a remarkable recruitment tool, just like the Black Tide Dinner serves to empower thousands. Who knew that all those Monday nights of board meetings, and I mean every Monday night during some of the worst times of our lives, would culminate today in the incredible resource center run by the fabulous C.C. Cox. Over the years, the center and its services have been helped by the generous contributions to the Black Tide Dinner, for which I'm eternally thankful. When we were raising funds to buy the former MCC church on Reagan Street, 
People ask, how could you spend all this money on a building when so much is needed for AIDS? I would answer, we need to throw an anchor into a future when AIDS is no longer a crisis that dominates our community's well-being. The Resource Center bears that out. If you're not currently a volunteer for any of the Black Tie Dinner beneficiaries, please consider doing so. It can be a life-changing experience. It certainly changed mine. I am grateful for my front row seat to history. Plus, I knew all the players. For those of you who are anxious about the COVID-19 crisis, just remember that we went through this with the AIDS crisis and came out stronger. And not just because of science, but our community. I am so proud. Thank you. Hey y'all, Cassie Nova here. No need to adjust your screen, I am a drag queen, and a damn good one. One that supports the Black Tie Dinner and the great work they do around North Texas. I'm interrupting this program to let you know that you only have 20 minutes left for your chance to win this brand new 2020 Mercedes Benz, GLB 250 or A220. The winning ticket will be drawn by my good friend, Dale Hansen. Go to blacktie.org to get your tickets now. And now, come with me. We've got to get the tickets to Dale Hansen. He lives way out in Waxahachie. Him and I go way back. We like to joyride around in nice Mercedes. If you don't believe me, look at this. Put this on. All right, here we go. Well, Kev, no turning back. This will never, nobody ever seen it. Right? Hey, you need a little bit look, more look, forehead. Don't, yeah. I, don't, don't I look like Eddie Munster's older sister? You look like Gene Hackman in Birdcage. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on, Terry. I'm driving. Get out the door, Terry, come on. All right, let's go. Come on, Terry, we gotta hurry. We gotta get this to Dale Hansen. Woo. Bye, everybody. Uh, good luck, Dale. It, I don't think it's too late to lock the gate. Now, we know that the North Texas community is really generous, so please continue texting your donations by texting BTD to 243-725. Again, any amount will help our fantastic beneficiaries. Did you know that your text of $50 can help someone in Promise House's LGBTQ youth home with five days worth of groceries? A donation of $250 will help with the production cost of one of our arts organizations. And finally, $500 provides essential counseling services through Celebration Community Church. So keep those donations coming in. And speaking of donations, it looks like we have our first board member interrupting the set with good news, hopefully. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Ethan. I am so proud to announce David W. Carlson and Steve Smith have pledged $40,000. Wow. Our studio audience is excited, and so am I. It keeps going. Selenese Corporation and Nordstrom, both for $5,000 each. This is great stuff, and we're off to a wonderful start, but we still need your help. We are so grateful for the donations coming in, and this money does so many wonderful things locally for our beneficiaries, and we're excited to tell you a little bit more about these organizations. That's right, Brad. From its origins as a small fundraising dinner among friends in 1982, Black Tie Dinner has grown into the largest fundraising dinner in the nation for the LGBTQ community. Each year, Black Tie Dinner selects up to 20 North Texas nonprofit organizations as local beneficiaries of its fundraising, as well as the Human Rights Campaign Foundation as the national beneficiary. To date, Black Tie Dinner has distributed over $25 million to a wide variety of organizations serving the needs of the LGBTQ community. To help introduce our 2020 beneficiaries, we are thrilled to welcome Cecile Richards. You all know Cecile is the activist, author, and former president of Planned Parenthood. And many of you know that her mother, the amazing Governor Ann Richards, has brought down the house at prior black tie dinners. Please welcome Cecile Richards. Thank you, Jeremy and Brad. 
You know, each year, the Black Tie Dinner raises funds for a diverse array of LGBTQ-supportive nonprofits across North Texas. And the resilience of these beneficiaries throughout 2020 has been amazing as they face the challenges caused by COVID-19. Now, while the pandemic has adversely impacted all life and business as we know it, it's been especially damaging to the nonprofit sector. Yet at the same time, there has never been a greater need for the services that Black Ties beneficiaries provide to our community. And that's why, no matter the headwinds we may face, we must continue to help these wonderful organizations build and maintain the momentum they need to succeed. Despite the many challenges this year has brought, Black Tie Dinner remains committed to raising as much as possible for so many worthy organizations. Please join me in recognizing this year's Black Tie Dinner beneficiaries, all of whom are the happiest when providing services to others. With COVID, our fundraising activities uh, obviously have been impacted, as, as is the case with a lot of other nonprofits. Choirs have been unfairly labeled as the fire-breathing dragon of the COVID outbreak. This has been in a, a very difficult time for both staff and for youth, uh, but we are essential workers. Our direct care workers are frontline. We've had to rethink what it means to be a fundraising organization. We've had opportunities to grow in ways that we never thought possible. Legacy was able to get telemedicine in place within a week for their clients to keep their counseling compliant. There are LGBTQ kids that still need love that might be in a home that's perhaps unforgiving. The pandemic has placed a red hot spotlight on the unfairness and the disparities that we suffer in our community. We serve a very, very low income population of those that are HIV positive. What we do is provide basic sexual and reproductive health care each and every day to any and all who walk through our doors without judgment. We are a trauma-informed environment, and when kids are experiencing trauma due to COVID, we've had to step in and provide additional counseling services, more therapy. We've not been able to gather um, as a community for worship for nearly six months now. Funding from Black Tie Dinner is vitally important to the Coalition for Aging LGBT. The help we receive from you means that we can keep our momentum going in reaching out to folk in our community with food insecurity. To be in ministry with many of the organizations that the Black Tie Dinner supports. We'll be feeding hundreds of families for Thanksgiving, many who would not be able to be feeding themselves during this pandemic. To do these wonderful shows that Uptown puts on because they tell the LGBTQ plus history, which a lot of other theaters don't do. The support we receive from Black Tie Dinner is very crucial in allowing us to work on other parts of our mission. We're working on education and other ways to reach people outside the concert hall. It allows us to make matches safely and more effectively and allows us to continue our outreach in the LGBTQ plus community. To ensure the health and safety of anyone and everyone who walks through our doors or comes to us online for virtual health care. It's very important that we carry on our work of bringing LGBT cultural competency to retirement communities throughout North Texas. Dallas is the city that does the best job, in my opinion, in banding together in times of need. What gives me hope is that we will continue to provide critical services to patients in need in the community. The courage of our LGBTQ youth. The resiliency, the self-determination. So these resources coming from Black Tie are, are so critical and appreciative. We thank you, Black Tie Dinner. We appreciate you. We just plain love you. A special thank you to Fidelity Investments for that fantastic look into this year's beneficiaries. Each of the amazing organizations you just saw in that video need your help now more than ever. For the first time, you don't have to purchase a ticket to the dinner, buy an expensive gown, worry about your hair and makeup, stress about a hotel room, find the perfect bow tie. You get the point. None of that matters this year with no dinner and with the help and support of AT&T. We're making it so simple to give back to these beneficiaries by simply texting BTD to 243-725 right now. That's right. That little thing you do every day, all day with your fingers and thumbs can actually go to help these deserving organizations need in-house patients, provide life-changing programming, add new initiatives to help youth, and so much more. In fact, 
During a year when this global pandemic has shut so many doors, your text today can help turn the lights back on for some of these organizations. So right now we ask you, grab your phone and text BTD to 243725. Every single dollar counts thanks to AT&T. And we do mean that from $25 to $2,500. We're seeing them all come through today and we do appreciate it. Keep them coming. And now let's take a look at the bottom of your screen for live acknowledgement of people at home donating as we speak. Brad, I've seen Comerica donate $2,500. Steve and Lisa Rudner, $2,500. Deidre Burns and Amanda Minkler, $1,000. Thank you all so much for your generosity and let's keep those coming in. Now let's check with our board processing center here at the Slate in Dallas, Texas. Boy, they're working away processing your donations and raffle tickets. Now you're seeing us in action, but now we want to see you. Let's take a live look at some of the pictures you all have sent simply by posting with the hashtag, hashtag Black Tie Live. Keep it up, we'll be showing more later in the program. And now, a special message from someone you all know and love. He's graced the Black Tie Dinner stage before, and he's so supportive of our organization and our beneficiaries that he's back again, Eric Bergen. Hello to my Black Tie Dinner family and to North Texas. I'm Eric Bergen. I was the proud 2018 recipient of the Black Tie Media Award. Um, and I am thrilled to be back tonight joining all of you for Black Tie Live, although I do apologize for the uh, bad lighting out here. I'm trying to make do with some lighting from my laptop. Um, though we aren't in person this year as we normally would be, I just want to uh, applaud Black Tie's innovation and, and steadfast dedication on putting together a televised event to carry on this year's fundraising efforts in a year where it truly might have been easier to forgo it all together because shining bright in the darkness is a theme that we can and should all aspire to in 2020. I can tell you that, why am I shaking the camera so much? I apologize, I don't, I, I feel, I'm trying to like rest the camera on my elbow. I'm not doing a very good job, but here's the thing, it's a pandemic and not doing a very good job is really all I can handle right now, and so I, I just hope you'll accept me in that. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm not, but I'm kidding. Um, look, this year is weird for all of us, um, but I hope that, uh, like me, you have been able to find some kind of silver lining in this year. And uh, for me, that has been a true reevaluation of uh, what is important in your life and who is important in your life and who is not important in your life. Anyway, not important for now, but I, I hope that you are all finding a way to uh, find some kind of good in this bizarre, bizarre time. So with that, join me today in supporting Black Tie Live and their deserving beneficiaries, each with a unique story and mission of their own. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. It's so great to see you again. As we mentioned, our national beneficiary is the Human Rights Campaign Foundation. The HRC Foundation improves the lives of LGBTQ people by working to increase understanding and encouraging the adoption of LGBTQ inclusive policies and practices. We're so happy to have with us today Alfonso David, the president of the HRC Foundation. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Thank you so much, Brad. I wanna say thank you to the Dallas Black Tie the board of directors, the volunteers, all of the allies that work so hard to put together this event tonight. Every single year, you put together a fantastic evening. And I know as a result of COVID-19, it has been challenging. So I just wanna say thank you to all of the volunteers that helped put together this event tonight. Alfonso, welcome. Your first year on the job has been eventful to say the least, and coming into this role is not an easy one. So tell us how your vision changed when we were hit by the pandemic. When I took on the role as the president of the Human Rights Campaign, I issued a challenge to all members of the LGBTQ community and to all of our allies. I asked us to see beyond ourselves. I asked us to see beyond the policy issues that we care most about. I asked us to see beyond the issues that directly affect us, and instead focus on issues that affect all of our communities. When I issued that call to action in last September, 
I could not have envisioned that we would face the greatest global pandemic that we've seen in a century. I could not have envisioned that we would be confronting racial unrest all over this country that is so legitimate as a result of years and years of oppression. I could not have envisioned that we are now on par to have more transgender members of our community killed than any other year in history. Now, when I issued that pledge, I was hoping that we would be able to see beyond ourselves. And I'm happy to see that so many of us are doing that. So many of us are standing up for community members all over this country and around the globe to make sure that equality is actually something that's realized. So I am proud of the community that we all are a part of. I'm proud of the community that I represent to make sure that we can fight for equality. We have a history, a history that tells us that we are worth it, a history that tells us that we can overcome the challenges. It seems like you all have been busier now more than ever. Can you tell us about some of the work HRC is doing that you're most excited about that is creating the biggest impact? We're doing work all over the country, all over the globe, in fact, to make sure that we advance LGBTQ equality. As an example, we recently sued the federal administration for attempting to deny health care to LGBTQ people, and we won a preliminary injunction in federal court. We've also issued research studies all over the country to make sure that policymakers and the public is aware of how COVID-19 is disproportionately impacting members of the LGBTQ community. We've also launched a transgender justice initiative to make sure that we address the plight of violence that is affecting so many members of the transgender community, and we're doing that work indeed all over the country. We've also deepened our work and strengthened our work on racial justice, from making sure that we collectively support police reform to ensuring that we address all of the oppressive systems that have affected people of color. And then finally, we're doing work to ensure that LGBTQ people, and equality voters understand their rights when it comes to voting, whether it be absentee balloting or mail-in balloting or showing up at the polls. We want to make sure that voters actually exercise their constitutional right to vote. Thank you, Alfonso and HRC Foundation, for all the amazing work you all do. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Brad. And thank you to the Dallas Black Tie Board. I want to thank also the volunteers and all of the allies to help us advance LGBTQ equality year in, year out. Thank you so much. At this time, we'd like to recognize the generosity of our amazing champion sponsors. Champion sponsors. Aiken Gump Strauss Hauer and Feld LLP. Bell Textron Inc. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. Carpazian. Children's Health, Barbara Curry, Dallas Mavericks, Ernst & Young, Greenberg Trorig, Haynes & Boone, Infosys, Jackson Walker, Kirkland & Ellis, KPMG, Liberty Mutual, Littler Mendelssohn PC, Scott Presley and Steve Rail. Randy Ray and Monk Wilson Mandela, Steve and Lisa Rudner, Ken Sullivan, Texas Tech University School of Law, Uptown Physicians Group, Vincent and Elkins, Kay Wilkinson and Caliber Home Loans. At this time, we are excited to announce that Alcon has agreed to give $6,000 to match your text to give donations for the next 10 minutes. Thank you, Alcon, for your continued support of our LGBTQ community. Oh, and here comes Gina with what we hope is another pledge. Gina looking beautiful as always, our lady in red. All right, folks, here we go. Morgan W. Cox III and Darrell Hill pledging $20,000. Wow. They're excited, we're excited. Wow, my heart's beating. Okay, Harold Tenenbaum and Zach Talon, $5,000 each. Thank you so much. Now, Brad, Bob's coming in. I hope he has even more better news or more good news. First, we have Alex and Eden Welch with $30,000. Thank you to the Welches. We also have Wells Fargo with $5,000. 
And last but not least, Vincent and Elkins with $1,500. Thank you all so much for your generosity. You've seen our board members working hard today behind the scenes, but let's get to know them better, learn why they are involved, and take a closer look at this year's Black Tie Dinner Board of Directors in a video sponsored by Friends of North Haven. I wanted to make a difference for the LGBTQ community here in Dallas. I need to be a voice for those in the LGBT community. I want to do something for the people that stood up for me. Although we are faced with adversity on many levels, with uh, like-minded others in our community, we can overcome. I just saw the amazing work that this organization was doing, and I just felt that I could do more. It still brings me great gratitude to be a part of this organization and raise money for our beneficiaries. We're resilient and uh, strong and working really hard to make sure that we do bring in as much money as we can. You should give back to your community as much as it's given to you. Here I am. I've always felt that I have the, the privilege and the the power as a person to give back. So my philosophy has always been pay it forward. It's just all that more critically important to give back and make a difference and be the change. The reason I wanted to join Black Tie Dinner is just to give back to the LGBT community, my community. I love this organization. I love what we do for not just here at the North Texas level, but on a national level as well with the HRC Foundation. To me, it's sort of the, the peak of volunteer service in, in the DFW area. It's a great little team that works together here to try to do something that's really great for the community. See the positive impact that we make on those, those local beneficiaries is really what, what drove me to this board. It's important to stay involved. I quickly realized this is why it's one of the largest LGBTQ organizations because of all the work they do to give back. It's not just one, two, five, or ten different organizations. It's multiple. We have organizations that support children and families and, you know, your LGBT rights and healthcare organizations, fine arts and entertainment, and really just supports the entirety of the community in all facets. I think these organizations that we are supporting have such a broader impact to our community and that's what I want to be aligned with. My husband and I feel very fortunate that we're both in a position where we can now give back. I thought I could kind of make an impact on more people being a part of this board. I was very blessed to find the group of people that I found at Black Tide. I want to be where I can help. This was a really special group of people who were affecting change. For the last decade, BBVA has shown their tireless support of Black Tie Dinner by partnering with us and doing so as our presenting sponsor since 2017. Their commitment to our community and their support for LGBTQ equality is unparalleled. Please welcome BBVA's Executive Vice President, Director of Communications and Responsible Business, Ray Ocañez. Welcome. Thanks, Brad. On behalf of BBVA and our more than 125,000 employees across the globe, Thank you for having us back for the fourth year as the presenting sponsor of the Black Tie Dinner. BBVA is a leader in workplace equality as demonstrated by our Human Rights Campaign Corporate Equality Index score of 100 points out of 100, meaning we are a best place to work for LGBTQ employees. This year has shown a light on the ongoing issue of racial equity and social justice in America. BBVA stands in support of its black employees, customers, and communities as well as other communities that have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19 and its financial ramifications. Going forward, we are aggressively working to establish and implement a racial equity and social justice strategy that will generate meaningful change. This will support our efforts to improve the lives and opportunities for black, indigenous, and people of color where the bank operates and across the country. For this and many other reasons, I'm proud to work at BBVA. The bank has unequivocally supported my husband Orlando and I during our experience as out gay foster parents. Last year, many of you met our two foster sons, Sebastian and Joey Ray. I'm proud to share that we adopted them a few months ago and we now have a forever family. And BBVA provides me with the same six weeks of parental leave as an opposite sex family after the birth of their children. Finally, I'm grateful that Black Tie Dinner also benefits the Human Rights Campaign. My husband Orlando and I are donors to HRC for years now, 
and I'm especially proud to be here today as a member of the HRC Foundation Board of Directors. Please give generously today to support the life-saving work done by the Black Tie Dinner beneficiaries and HRC. Thank you for considering BBVA for your banking needs. Come see us. We're ready to take good care of you and your financial future. Hopefully you've all been bidding away on our incredible online auction, generously underwritten by Celebrity Cruises. Now, Jeremy, I've had my eye on that VIP experience for eight at the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. What are you watching? Well, I'm looking for that Denver trip that comes with 130,000 miles donated by American Airlines. But, Fred, by the way, didn't you just buy a new house? You should be looking at the housewares and home decor. Okay, Instagram stalker. <laughs> yes, I'll make sure that I keep an eye on that. And don't forget, you can also text to give simply by texting BTD at 243-725. And here we go, another board member walking on set. That can only mean one thing. Thank you, David. All right, friends, $5,000 from Brinker International. It's so exciting. All right, now let's take a quick look at some of our loyal supporters. All right, welcome back. Up next, we have a very special guest in store for you. Not only is he a famous fashionista that is near and dear to all of our hearts, he's also known for helping people to harness their inner beauty and showcasing that to the world by helping them to feel confident. Hello, everyone. I'm Tam France from the hit series Queer Eye and Next in Fashion. At the heart of Queer Eye, the Fab Five come together to help individuals relearn self-acceptance, redefine masculinity, and ultimately graduate to a place of radical self-love through self-care via interior design, grooming, culture, diet, and of course, last but certainly not least, fashion. While we aid in the transformation of lives, Black Tie Dinner does the same in the transformation of communities through their 17 local nonprofit beneficiaries throughout North Texas and the Human Rights Campaign, all of which support the LGBTQ family. Join me in supporting Black Tie Dinner through the purchase of a raffle ticket, a silent auction item, or the Text to Give campaign. I'm so happy to be able to share this message with you all tonight on behalf of Samsung. Giving back to your community is another form of self-love. It also happens to make you look ridiculously fierce. And what the world needs now is love more than ever. Sadly, 2020 has already seen at least 29 transgender or gender non-conforming people fatally shot or killed by other violent means, the majority of which were transgendered women of color. We say at least because too often these stories go unreported or misreported. These victims, like all of us, are loving partners, parents, family members, friends and community members. They were real people, people that did not deserve to have their lives taken from them. We mourn those that we've lost in 2020.
Park Place Motor Cars Dallas has been a supporter of Black Tie for over 12 years, and we couldn't be more excited to carry that same support into 2020. Together with Black Tie, we have helped raise more than $1.2 million with our vehicle raffle sales. We're so glad to see that that money is going into a great cause into our community. Black Tie has so many beneficiaries, and in addition to that being the largest fundraiser for the LGBTQ community, we are so glad to have our goals aligned with theirs. Our next performance, sponsored by Allstate, is someone who is well known to Dallas and the LGBTQ community. Please welcome Anton Shaw and company. Amazing, thank you ladies. Let's check back in with our board members who are processing your donations. Remember to text BTD to 243-725. And now, a very special message from someone we all know and love. Hi everyone. I know you've seen me earlier in the program during the history video, but I could not resist this opportunity to return to address you all directly. I'm here to support Black Tie Dinner and it's 16 North Texas beneficiaries and the Human Rights Campaign Foundation because their works matter. Equality matters. And that includes the LGBTQ community. Here in the United States, everyone deserves to hold a seat at the table. Congrats to Black Tie Dinner and to all the amazing 2020 beneficiaries. I'm very hopeful about this election because there's so much on the line. So many people have had their consciousness raised and I think that we're gonna have a turnout and with your help, that turnout will include everyone I know. And now, please welcome our very special guest, Vice President Joe Biden. Hey everybody, it's Joe Biden. This election is gonna determine our future for a very long time. We're facing multiple crises, pandemic, recession, racial injustice, climate change and wildfires, an assault on LGBTQ rights, declining faith in a bright American future. You deserve a partner in the White House to fight with conviction and to win the battles ahead. Together, we'll pass the Equality Act, protect LGBTQ youth, expand access to health care, support LGBTQ workers, Win full rights for the transgender community. Recommit to ending HIV AIDS epidemic by 2025. Advance the LGBTQ rights around the globe, not just at home. This moment requires us to rise together to get everyone we know involved, to remember who we are as a nation and build a better future. That's what America's always done in the past. This is the United States of America. There's not a single thing we're unable to do when we do it together. Make a plan to vote and vote early. And please get all your friends and family to do the same. It's time to spread the faith. Let's get to work. We can do this. No modern day black tie dinner would be complete without our loyal friend and advocate, Dale Hansen. Mm. Well, Jeremy, Brad, thank you. Uh, this is my uh, black tie attire, 2020 style. Uh, at least I've saved $169 on my tuxedo rental this year. Oh, uh, great. Cassie Nova and Terry Loftus have just driven up in that new Mercedes they're giving away in a moment. And, oh, fantastic. Cassie has found my uh, wine bar. And, 
Ah, now I'm going to be out of wine in just a short amount of time. Uh, before I do draw the winning ticket for the Mercedes, this is why I'm involved in the black tie events every year. Gay rights are not special rights. They're not just liberal rights or even American rights. Gay rights are simply human rights. The human right to love another human. In a country where the rather obvious statement of Black Lives Matter offends some people, in a country where some people think kidnapping a governor is somehow acceptable, in a country where a county clerk can think she's being denied the right to practice her religion because she chooses to deny someone their rights, and in a country where people are still judged by the color of their skin, where they were born, the religion they follow, in a country where so-called leaders try to suppress the vote because they don't like the way you vote, in that country, we have justices on the Supreme Court who think a man loving another man, a woman loving another woman, they think that's the problem they need to fix. That's why you need to vote. Your vote might not elect the candidate you want, but your vote sends a message of the America you want and an America that would deny anyone their right to live a full and happy life is not the America I want, and I'm hoping you don't either. Okay, I'm off the soapbox. Uh, let's draw for the car. Terry Loftus is here, the incoming chair of the Dallas Black Tie Dinner. Draw me a winner out of there, and I better put my glasses on just so I can see if I can read this thing. Give me somebody good. This is for the new Mercedes from Park Place. And the winner is David Brim, B-R-E-H-E-H-M, David Brim. Oh, let me, just, let me just check something real fast here. Hey, Leland Roberts, Leland, you realize if we'd have had two cars, you'd have won one. <laughs> David, you've got yours, though. Vote, donate. And support gay rights in America is one of the most important things we do. That's it Thank from you. lovely Waxahachie Terry Loftus. I love the jacket. Brett, back to you. Thank you, Dell, and thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon. Just a reminder, our auction stays open through 10 p.m. tonight. Once we've added those numbers to our impressive donations, our raffle sales and text pledges today, we'll announce this year's final distribution amount in December at our annual wrap party, sponsored by BBVA and Lexus. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. We know that this was not a normal black tie dinner, but thank you all for the love and support all year long. We look forward to seeing you at the 40th black tie dinner in 2021. As Brad mentioned, keep bidding on your auction items. Now, you at home are probably on your 12th mimosa, so we're about to go get our first one. One. Thank you and have a good night.